Hey guys, so today I thought we could do a sort of closet clean out, decluttering kind of type video because here in the Toronto area, it's like full blown summer now. And I really need to switch my clothes from my winter clothes over to my summer clothes. So I thought that would be fun if we could do that together. And also guys, just wanted to let you know that I am going to be doing a Q&A video sometime next week. One of my viewers actually suggested that and I thought it was a very good idea. So if you guys have any questions about Depop, and selling or anything like that in general just leave me a comment below and i'll probably answer it in an upcoming video so this big basket of clothes is actually um, most of my summer items but i think the best idea is going to be to start clearing out my drawers first before we put any new stuff in okay so first i think we're going to go through the bottoms um you might notice that my drawer is like on the ground and that is because my dresser literally broke this morning because this drawer is so heavy so i might be getting rid of some of these like selling them the ones that like i don't really wear as often and i'm also probably going to keep a few out for the summer as well just for like when i go into the office or like chillier days or nights we're gonna be a little bit more selective with those ones okay so the first pair i have here are these ones these are like my vintage express blue jeans and i think i'm probably just going to put these away for the winter because I don't see myself wearing them. Okay, so next are my orange tab vintage Levi jeans. I'm also going to put these away for the winter just because they're a little bit thick and I don't think I would want to wear them, even if it's like a little bit cooler. Next are these jeans. They're like these blue notes jogger jeans and they aren't really my style anymore except i like hand sewed this stripe down on them and it took me a long time so i don't want to get rid of them just yet and honestly i might actually keep these for the summer just because there's like rips in them a little bit more like comfortable and breezy next are my blue levi's with like a raw hem i think i'm going to keep these because they are a little bit loose and i feel like that's going to be more comfortable for summer if I need to wear them. These are my um, reworked kind of like ragged priest jeans that I made. I have yet to wear them. I just don't know where to wear them to be honest. So I think I might just keep them out for summer. I feel like this could be a cool summer look maybe if I decide to wear them. My Lee jeans, I think I'm gonna put away for the winter. These Urban Outfitters kick flare ripped jeans, I'm definitely going to keep for summer. Okay, next are some sweat pants i have two different root sweatpants these are like the classic black ones and these have like a stripe down the side so i definitely only need one pair for the summer just like in case i need them on like a chilly night so i think i'm gonna hang on to this one okay so next are these dress pants that i've had in my dresser for a long time just like waiting for the right time to wear them and i've yet to wear them so i'm definitely gonna put them away they might not even make an appearance back when winter comes around again because i just never wear them okay next we have these urban outfitters black skinny jeans with rips in the knees i might try to sell these to be honest just because i haven't really worn them in a really long time and i really don't think i'm going to be wearing them for summer next are my vintage guest jeans these i will definitely be putting away for summer because they're super thick denim not ideal for summer here i have these american eagle black skinny jeans i'm actually going to keep these for summer just because they're super comfortable I'll probably end up wearing them when I go to work, so I'll hang on to these. Next are my favorite pair of black jeans. Hmm, I don't know if I'm gonna end up wearing these. I think I will hang on to them for the summer. Next are my uh, Levi's wedgie jeans. I definitely don't need both of like this pair and the other pair. So I think I'm actually gonna hang on to these. I'm changing my mind. I'm gonna swap them out for these ones. And I think I'm gonna put my favorite pair into a storage. Next are these super cool jeans. Um, They could be good for summer, but to be honest, I don't really wear them that often in the winter. I don't think I'm gonna get any use out of them. Plus I already have those other kind of grayish jeans, so I definitely don't need two. Next are my plaid pants. Definitely putting these away for winter. They're way too warm. These are my brown Dickies pants. I'm I'm definitely going to keep them for summer. I think they would look really cute with a crop top. I've actually kind of been waiting to wear it like that. Next are these Vans, like olive kind of skater pants. I'm debating if I'm going to wear these like while skating. I think I'm going to put them away. I'm probably just going to wear, end up wearing shorts. Okay, so next are these green Urban Outfitters stretchy uh, flare pants. And these were more of like the thermal kind. So I'm debating if they're going to be too warm for winter or for summer. But they're super comfortable. 
comfortable. I think I'll I think I'll keep them around for summer. I think I could make it work. Okay, so next we have two of these green Aritzia pants. And because they're so similar, I'm only gonna hang on to one for summer. And it's gonna be these ones. And that's just because they're a lot lighter. They're made from a thinner material. And I just won't end up grabbing for these. Okay, next are these corduroy pants. They're super cool. They've got like a pretty straight leg with like cargo pockets on the sides. And I love the fact that there's no pockets on the back. I think it's really cute. Problem is I hardly wore these during winter just because they're a little bit uncomfortable. I think they're a little too small for me. As much as I love these, I think think I'm going to end up selling them. Then we have these pants. They're just like these Zara stretchy pants with a stripe down the side. I'll probably keep these for summer. They're pretty light and comfortable. Also good to wear when I go to work. And then next we just have a few pairs of leggings. I'm actually going to keep both of these. One is like Lululemon and one is Nike. Okay, so now we're going to tackle this drawer. This is the drawer that has all my tops and it needs some serious help. I made the mistake of like keeping quite a few t-shirts and a few tank tops in there for winter. For some reason I thought was I was gonna wear them and I never did so it was taking up a ton of space. And also I just tried to cram so many things in there that like things are stacked on top of each other and honestly I don't even really remember what's underneath the first layer so we're gonna take out all the winter stuff and hopefully when we reorganize it's gonna look a little better. Let's start with the long sleeves first because I'm probably gonna put most of them away. First we have this this striped Levi's kind of rainbow shirt. I love this shirt, but I just don't need it for the summer. So we're gonna just put that in storage. Next is my knuckle puck band t-shirt. This one's actually pretty good and breezy for summer. So I think I'll keep that one for now. Next is this Vans shirt. I love this shirt, but I've worn it a bunch of times and I think I'm ready to let it go to be honest. So I think I might actually sell this one. Next is this Brandy Melville long sleeve. I think I'll actually hang on to this one for summer too because it's kind of good to wear to the office. This Hawaii shirt. I think I might hang on to this one for summer too just because it is like Hawaii which is kind of summery. This van striped long sleeve I'll definitely be putting away. It's more of like a thermal top so I'm not going to be needing it. This brown striped turtleneck definitely putting away. This turtleneck's a little thinner but still I don't think I'm going to be wearing any turtlenecks in the summer. Same with this one. I'm going to put that away. My Harley Davidson turtleneck. We'll see you next winter. This Vans long sleeve I'll probably put away just because it's super similar to that burgundy Hawaii one so I really don't need two of those for now. This Tommy Hilfiger turtleneck I absolutely love. Has the contrast stitching there. But I think I will put that away. I have so many turtlenecks but I genuinely do wear all of them during winter. Um, this is just a basic black one that I will be putting away. This striped Nautica kind of polo long sleeve I'll actually keep for summer because once again it's a looser fit. This black thermal top I will be putting away. Same with this American Eagle thermal top. This I'll put away too. I also have these two identical American Eagle long sleeves that I really did not wear at all this winter. I probably should sell them but I might hang on to them till next winter. This gray long sleeve I really like for layering so I might just hang on to that too. This Canon shirt. I think I'll keep it for summer. This is literally just a plain black long sleeve so I'm definitely putting that away. Okay so I think that is all the long sleeves. I'll just quickly go through the t-shirts that are in here. I'll probably be hanging on to most of them for summer but we'll see if there's any that I want to actually get rid of and sell. So this tie-dye one I got last summer, definitely gonna keep that. Same with this Australia one, I love that one. This shirt I never wear, but it's still really special to me. It's actually a band shirt from the main. I'll probably keep it around for summer. This is my wolf t-shirt, love it, definitely hang on to that. This is just like a really basic classic striped shirt that I got from H&M so long ago. Honestly a staple in my wardrobe, so definitely keeping. This Urban Outfitters shirt I love. It's super plain, but the material is so comfortable and light. Definitely keeping. This little American Eagle tie-dye kind of tie-up top. I think I got it last summer or the summer before. I don't wear it all that often, but it's also a really good like workout shirt, so I might just keep it for that. One of my Teddy Fresh t-shirts in black. This shirt I'm also have been selling for so long and no one wants this shirt. I think it's so cool though. So I I put in my wardrobe to get some wear out of it. Like might as well until someone buys it hopefully eventually. But I'm just gonna leave it out, put it with my inventory just to leave more room for my actual clothes. This is my other Teddy Fresh t-shirt. It has the little 
teddy bear logo. This shirt I am actually selling as well already. I've been selling it, but I absolutely love it and I wear it all the time. So I think I'm literally going to like mark it as sold because I think I'd be really sad if like someone actually bought it. This shirt. Just a Hawaii shirt, definitely keeping. This little cute striped American Eagle shirt, absolutely love it. I wear it all the time. This is just a really good classic white striped shirt. The material is actually really good quality. It kind of feels like a polo shirt. This is just a plain white t-shirt I'll be keeping. I absolutely love this shirt. I don't know what it is. Um, at the back it says like, I survived the river caves. But I just really, really love this color and this emblem. This is one of my favorite t-shirts. Next we have another knuckle puck shirt. This one's just a plain black t-shirt. Love this one too. I just like how simple it is. Another really simple shirt. This I got from Forever 21 forever ago. And it's honestly such a classic in my wardrobe. This Riot Fest t-shirt back from 2015. Definitely keeping. I love this one. This burgundy knuckle puck t-shirt. I really loved it for a while, but I think I might sell it because I clearly already have like a few other knuckle puck shirts and I have a lot of t-shirts, so I should be kind of downsizing. This is just a plain gray t-shirt that I thrifted a long time ago, but I just love it. It's really simple, but it has this little cute whale little tail on there and I love it. This is just like a fitted Vans t-shirt, which is kind of one of the only fitted t-shirts I have, so I'll probably keep it. This is just like a basic black crop top with a V, super good basic, definitely keeping. This whatever happened to baby Jane t-shirt that I got from the black market many years ago, one of my favorite t-shirts. And then we have this Jurassic Park t-shirt, my favorite movie, definitely keeping that. Then we have this just plain yellow old navy t-shirt. I think I will be selling this one too, just because that Australia one is very similar in color and I wear that one a lot more often, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Then we have this tank top that I actually wore a lot in the winter as like a layering piece and I genuinely don't know if I would wear it by itself, but I will keep it for summer. Then here is this like split t-shirt that me and my sister made. Definitely keeping, but to be honest, I did a really bad job sewing this together, so I'm gonna leave this out to run it through the sewing machine again and fix it. And then this is just like a little contrast patchwork top that I made, also up for sale on my Depop, but I usually like to wear pieces before I sell them, so that's why it's in my personal closet. Then I just have this cute little knit black crop top. Just got this recently, so definitely keeping. And this is one of my favorite tank tops ever. It's from Free People. I love the cut of it, that's like high neck. And honestly, the material is so, good quality like i'm definitely gonna try to get more of these because it just fits so nicely okay so that was every single thing that was inside my drawers so now we have a little more space for my other summer clothes so i might as well start showing you those ones so first are just these little nike shorts running shorts i really like these but i wore them once on a run and there's no pocket so i'm like where am i supposed to put my phone i probably should sell them but i think think I'll hang on to them for a little bit longer. Okay, next for shorts are my Tommy Hilfiger white shorts. Definitely keeping. My black vintage cutoff shorts. Definitely keeping. This little Urban Outfitters like black skirt. I actually thrifted in the winter, so I haven't had a chance to wear it yet. Even though I'm not a skirt person, I'm trying to force myself to be. <laughs> so definitely keeping that. Then we've got my longer uh, Levi's black shorts. These Levi's black cutoff shorts. My Levi's gray cutoff shorts. And then these I actually got on Depop recently. They're just these really cute vintage -y striped shorts. I had a really similar pair before, but they were always a little too tight on me. So I finally decided to replace them. And honestly, I like these ones better. So I'm really happy with that. I'm also wearing <laughs> my Wrangler shorts already. These are like my favorite shorts ever, so definitely keeping them. Okay, these are just some basic um, Forever 21 sweat shorts that I've literally had for so long and these are like kind of coming back in style this summer. They're a little bit shorter than the ones I've seen, but I'll hang on to these. They also make good pajama shorts. Okay, these. These are my overall shorts. I got these from PacSun when I was on a trip in the US many years ago. And as much as I love overalls, I feel like I've never really loved how these ones fit me. They're a little too fitted. I would prefer more of a looser style. Kind of forced myself to wear them last summer, but I think I need to let 
let them go now so i am going to sell those ones okay these shorts love the concept but not the execution they're just like these green really cool cargo shorts but they are i think way too big for me <laughs> and they do not look flattering on me at all so i can either like try to fix them or sell them Mm, I think I'm just gonna sell them. I think it'd be too complicated to take them in. These shorts are really cute. They're just like these striped shorts. I thrifted and I'm pretty certain that someone actually made these, like handmade them because there's no tags and they just look very handmade. They are a little shorter than I would like, but I still like them and I will keep them. These are just some striped shorts I got from Blue Notes. I'm not crazy about them anymore, but they are really comfortable. So I will hang on to them. Then we have these corduroy shorts that I made last summer. I cut them. I do still really like these, but I feel like the cuff always has fit too tight. So I might try to redo that or something or figure something out because they are a little bit uncomfortable to wear. So I'm going to put this in like the repair pile. Oh, and these are like one of my favorite pair of shorts. They're just these Topshop mom shorts just basic blue. Always have been my go-to. I got them so many years ago and I still wear them and love them. These are my other running shorts. These ones actually have a pocket, so I'm definitely keeping these. Hey, these I definitely need to get rid of. I've had them for so long. They're from Joe Fresh. I think they were actually like hand-me-downs from my cousin originally. And they are a good simple black short, kind of a little more dressy, but I didn't wear them last summer and they are shorter than I'd like, so I think I'm gonna get rid of them. I'm not even gonna bother selling them because it's gonna be so hard to sell joe fresh to be honest so i will donate those and we have these cute little hawaii booty sweat shorts so i definitely will keep those so i think that was all of my shorts i have a few more tank tops to go through there is this one from garage you probably recognize it it's like a pretty old style but i still honestly like this top so i think i'm gonna keep it this cute little tank top i got last summer i really like it but i don't know i feel like it doesn't fit as good on me as i thought it would but i'll still keep it this little American Eagle purple tank top. I really like that I'm still. I got it last summer, so I'm definitely keeping. This is just a super basic gray tank top, flowy tank top that I got from like Boathouse many years ago. So I'll definitely keep that too. This is a little Forever 21 halter top. I don't wear it that often, but it still is really cute. So I'm gonna keep it. Okay, this shirt. This shirt I've had for so long and I don't think I've ever really liked it. I don't know why I've kept it for so long. So I think it's time to finally let this one go. This little American Eagle tank top, very similar to that purple one I showed. I don't know if I need both and I feel like I didn't really wear this one last summer, so I'm probably just not gonna hang on to that one. This is the most plain dress in existence. It's like this gray t-shirt dress from Old Navy. I probably will never wear it, but I am just gonna hang on to it just cause I don't really have that many dresses and you never know. Then I have just this plain black cropped t-shirt. Didn't wear it that often last summer, but I will keep it. Okay, this is another shirt that I definitely need to get rid of. I got it from Garage many years ago. I wore it like a few summers ago, I kind of just forced myself to wear it, but I just don't like it, so I'm not going to keep it. This is just a plain um, burgundy t-shirt that I really don't need, so I'm not keeping it. This is this cute little striped crop top from American Eagle I thrifted last summer, I'm pretty sure, and I love this shirt. I'm going to wear it so much, so definitely keeping. This Hawaiian shirt that I thrifted last summer, I love it. It's actually made from 100% silk, which is like such good quality. Definitely keeping. Then we have my the story so far tank top got this from warp tour many summers ago and this is one of my favorite like band merchandise this shirt mm, very similar to the american eagle one i showed this one i got from forever 21 many years ago i absolutely loved it when i got it i don't think i wore it much last summer and I, i'm not crazy about these colors so I think I'm finally gonna let that one go. This is just a cute little Maui tank top, a very cute basic keeping. This is more of like a bralette than a shirt, if anything. Um, I think I'll keep it. You never know when you'll need something like that. And then this is just another striped cropped t-shirt, but I really like this one. Thrifted it very long ago. Then we have this one. I love this one. I got it from for, for, from Forever 21 so long ago. You can tell it's like literally the only place I shopped when I was like in high school. I think I'll keep it. And then this one I bought last summer. It's I thrifted it. It's originally from Urban Outfitters. I'm gonna keep it. I like it. 
Oh, I just found a few more items that I totally forgot about. This is just a really basic um, garage tank top. I got it from one of my mystery thrift hauls over the winter and I thought it would be good for summer so I put that aside for myself. And then I have this really cute Nike kind of skirt, like athletic skirt, which I also got on Depop in a bundle with my striped shorts that you saw. I genuinely don't know if I'm going to wear this this summer, but I really like it and I got a good deal on it so I will keep this. So that is all my summer stuff. If you're wondering what's in this closet, it is basically a rack full of like my sweaters and stuff. Um, I don't think I'm going to declutter any of those. I kind of like looked through them already and I am happy with all of them. But I did just pull out a few dresses. They're all very similar so I'm probably going to get rid of a few because they all, they're all florals but this one's okay. It's got like an open back. It's from blue notes originally so like not the best quality i may just get rid of this one just because i have so many similar ones and i if i have the other ones i know i'm just like i rarely wear dresses to begin with so i know i'm not gonna reach for this one this beautiful dress i absolutely love i thrifted it last summer definitely keeping i have a few skirts so on this side is just a basic black h&m skirt and on this side is my tennis skirt that i actually made i probably will never wear this except for Depop photos, so I will keep it. Mm, I was thinking of getting rid of this dress, but it is my favorite color. It's like a wrap style dress. I think I'll definitely keep it. I thrifted it last summer. This dress I absolutely love, very similar to the other one, but this is actually from Kimchi Blue, which is very expensive apparently. I looked it up and I thrifted it and it is very cute, so definitely keeping. And I think this is my only other dress. It's just a classic like overall dress, so definitely keeping. I still really like that. Okay, so that was everything that was in my closet. The one last place that we're gonna go through is actually my clothes hanger in my room. It's mostly winter stuff, so we are gonna put a lot of it away and switch it out for some summer stuff, so let's do that. So this is my clothing rack, so this is usually where I keep like my favorite items stuff that i like to like have out that i want to see all the time the first one is just this levi's black denim jacket i think i'll probably leave it on the hanger for the summer just because it's a good like light jacket you know next is my vintage lee denim jacket this one is lined so i will be putting that away for summer just because i'm definitely not going to be wearing it this is my classic customized denim jacket definitely leaving it out this is one of my favorite jackets to wear in the summer just because it's so like oversized and has so many pockets oh this shirt i'll actually leave out too this is like a good one to just like throw on if you need like an extra layer but this is just like my split denim shirt that i thrift flipped and made last summer this is my sherpa levi's denim jacket definitely way too warm these are my two favorite flannel shirts i think i will actually keep these on my clothing rack just because once again they're just like a good extra layer love this sweater this is like one of my grandpa sweaters i will be putting it away love this sweater too and it does look kind of like loose and like thinner but this sweater is actually so warm so I will also be putting that one away for now. This is just like a super long roots cardigan. I think it's just a little too thick for summer, so I'll put that away. And I love this coat. It's just like this Sherpa snowflake coat, so definitely too warm. Okay, so now this rack is a lot more empty, so I'm just gonna decide now what I want to add to it for summer. I think firstly, I will be adding this top that I just recently made in a video. It's too nice to put away, so I'm gonna like put it on display here. I also have this jacket that I'm selling, but it doesn't really have a good place. So now that I have so much space here, I think I'm just gonna hang it up here. I love hanging up this Hawaiian shirt here for summer. It just really, you know, brings a certain vibe. I think I'm gonna hang up this dress here just because it's really pretty and I think it'll help bring more of a summer vibe here. I think I'm gonna hang up this one too just to you know showcase like the cooler more special items. Even though I probably won't wear this much this summer I'm also gonna add this just for like a pop of color and if I were to wear a hoodie on like a cold summer night it probably would be this one just because it's like white and bright. So let's add this one too. Okay I think that's a good start so now I just have to put everything else away back in the closet and back in the drawers.
Alright guys, so that is basically it. Everything's put away and my drawers are a lot more organized than they were before. My clothing rack looks a lot nicer and is basically summer ready now. And I'm so glad I ended up doing this today because it is so hot. Like throughout the day it's gotten hotter and hotter up here. So definitely needed all of my summer clothes out for like the rest of the week. And just a reminder guys, if you have any questions you want to submit for my Q&A video I'm going to do, this is going to give you a chance to ask any questions that I probably wouldn't make like an entire video about. I know some people always ask me about like bundles, how to create bundles, that sort of thing. So any kind of questions like that, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll probably answer it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.